Okay guys, just messing around with some materials this evening and I think I might have a wee pattern that might work, work well for the for the Dalagon. That's the wee fly there. So I'm just going to show you how to put it together and tie a few up, hopefully you can get you a few fish. The hook in the face is a size 11, it's all orange black, it's a double. The three of them are going to use to start off tying the fly, sorry, more like a floss, which is the glow bright floss number 11. I'm just going to come in, get this started behind the eye of the hook. Work on a few mil of the floss and then remove the waist tag. Now the tail is going to be a bright fluorescent yellow goose bats, and I'm looking to. Now the reason why I'm using goose bats is because I tied the in being special for the channel. And just got me thinking about goose bats. They're cheap. They're easy to come by. So just measuring this up, sorry. And also, they come in many, many different colours. So There's a fantastic colour range in relation to goose bats. Just coming down until I'm in line with the, the points of the hook. And then I'm just going to make a wee small hot butt of the glow bright floss number 11 at the back then I'm going to come in and throw in a whip finish then we can trim away our glow bright floss now you got to protect that so you can either use super glue then varnish, it's up to yourself, I'm just going to come in with some resin just a small amount I'm just going to spread this around the, the tag at the back the one I get onto the, the goose bats then I'm just going to come in with my torch and cure the resin thread that I'm going to use is a uni thread 80 in white. And this is just to keep the body as bright as I can. So a couple of mil remove the waist tag. The rib on the fly is going to be the ultra wire in silver. So just get a length of this off. I'm just going to catch this in underneath the shank of the hook, bring the, your wire in underneath the shank and then just work your thread down tied up against your hot butt or your tag, whatever you like to call it. The body is going to be a the Mirage tinsel, Noble Mirage in large by UTC. Just trim and length the add off. After this up to the hook, just come up come round with a turn, just pull it in the length of the body, and then I'm just going to work my thread back up. Hang that in. I'm just going to come round with the one rise tinsel, with just one turn overlapping the other. Right the whole way up to meet my thread. I'll get around a couple of turns to secure, come in and trim away the excess. Then I can bring up my rib. Then I'm looking three turns on the body of the silver wire. I'll get around with my thread. A couple of turns to secure. I'm going to bend and bring away the wire. This stage I'm going to switch over to a uni 3881 black. Want the head to be black now you can keep the, the white thread on and tie with that if you wish and then just colour it up with a permanent marker. I'm going to come in and trim away the white tan thread on the excess of the black. Now the wing is going to be grey squirrel tail dyed black. I'm 
have some here already prepared in the stacker. Now you can have the wing as long or short as you like. It's up to you. It's your fly. I'm just going to have my wing going right about halfway into the tail or so. So I'm just going to hold it here with my finger and thumb and my scissors. Just trim away the excess. And I'm going to come in and get this as close to the shank of the hoop as I can. Right with a pinching loop. And then a couple of turns to secure that in. I just want to check. Okay, I'll be enough of that. Now, Squirrel has a tendency to pull out. So the best thing to do here is, this is some super glue. Or if you don't like using super glue, you could use some clear varnish. Sally Hansen's hard as nails, something like that. I'm just going to take that down over the cut ends and back up. Then I'm going to get two strands of Murrowflesh. Now this Murrowflesh has a, a red tinge off it. So just getting two strands of the Murrowflesh. Staffing it up to the wing. Just want the strands sort of way down each side. Then I'm going to fold the excess back. Come in and trim away the excess. I'll just moist those. Leave it in the desk for the next fly. And then I want to come in and just trim the flesh. Just much the length of the wing. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. Now, I'm going to put a wee highlight each side, up each side of the wing of grey flank of the Mallard dyed red. So this is just the Mallard flank that's been dyed red. So I'm just going to come in, just bring out the fibres that you like. Straight up from the stem. I'm just going to offer these up in what's the length of the wing and on the sides. Then I'll get a pinch for your side. Like I say, just a bit of fun. Might work, might not. You'll not know until you face it. Now, I'm going to come in with this wee pinch. Just getting the length here again. Just hold it on your side. Right with a couple of turns. Right, just want to check. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. So I'm going to come in and trim away the excess. And we'll just take my thread down over the cut ends. Back up. Put a wee throat on the fly. I'm just going to use this wee cheap. This is just a cheap Indian um, hand cape. Not too many of the big feathers left, so just bringing the fibers out from the stem, and just pinch away what you what you need. Just a small throat underneath the wee fly, pinch and loop it up the way. And with a couple of turns just want to spin it around, see what way I'm sitting. Now I'm happy enough with that. So I just want to come in and clip away the, the excess. And then bring my thread down over the cut ends of the the blue hen. And then back up. Now at this stage, that's what's finished. I'm just going to come in and throw in a whip finish. Come in, throw away the tan thread. First coat onto the head, as always. Super glue. Onto the head, 
the whole way right round. And then once that dries, I'll come in and put on a, a couple of coats of varnish. So there you go guys, just a wee bit of fun, we fly that might work well for the Dalican. If you fish for the Dalican, and some of the rivers are starting to fish well now for them, tie a few of those up. Hopefully they can catch you a few fish. If they do, let me know how you get on. As always, many thanks for taking the time to tune in to watch the video. If you like the wee videos I'm putting together, please think about subscribing to my channel. It helps the wee channel out. And until next time, Deadlines.